His name was Pern is Pernil Teal, my son. Uh, um, his life was um, tragically interrupted in November, on November 12th of 2004. In the last couple of years, I lost a cousin of mine, uh, two, home, three homeboys. I describe him as loving. He loved everybody. If he could do anything for you, he would. He would give you the shirt off his back. That's why I couldn't understand why this young man would have did that to him. Because if he would have told him he had problems, my brother would have helped him. He played basketball before he, um, his life was interrupted. He was to walk on as a Miami Heat. And um, that never came to fruition. He would just smile at me. And that was all it took. <laughs> um, <laughs> he was a character for real. He, he uh, loved family. He loved friends. And he loved life. My mama used to distract Pernia so I could go to, go to school so I could catch the bus. And like I told you, Pernia caught on. And he would run out the door saying, I want my sister, I want my sister. And he would have on his little underoos and all my friends on the bus be joking. Like, and mom, he would convince my mom to take him to my school. I would look up like an hour later and him and my mom be at the door of my classroom. And he'll come running in there and come sit right beside me. It's crazy that like, you never know when it's your last time getting to see somebody again. It messed me up kind of hard. Like, it hit me hard. Like, when I was in high school, I graduated. When I used to be in high school, I used to like, do these little interviews around school and just ask people like random questions and stuff. And he used to watch my story on Instagram. And one day he texted me like, hey, look, cuz, bro, like, come put me one of your interviews. Man, those jokes mad funny. Come out the hood and do them. I'm pretty sure everybody bay with him. After they're like, yeah, you can pop out and make interviews and stuff. So one day, um, I started on the porch and he was going to my own. His homegirl crew that stay next to me, he like, yo, we got each other as usual, you feel? So I like, bro, what's up with the interview? She like, what's the word? So yeah, I'm interviewing them and everything, they're going good, whoop, whoop. After we finish talking, or after we finish the interview, we got each other up until we, um, until we love each other and stay safe, you feel? And after that, I ain't hear nothing else from him. The young man told him he had to ride around the corner, uh, to get rich his money because he didn't like the other guy or something or another. And so he went and rode around the corner with him. And next thing you know, the young man was shooting my son in the gun. From what I understand, um, Brunel, the first gunshot was in his right hand. And then he retaliated and he took the gun back. He took the gun from the young man, because my son didn't, he may have owned a gun, but he didn't walk around with a gun. He didn't believe in violence. He was shot five times. They said he could have walked away from four of those bullets, but only one killed him. He would tell anyone, these people are your people. We are one, and we need to love one another. Pernia was very loving, very kind, generous. People let children know that this type of life is not what you want to live, and it's better things out here for you. He would definitely tell them that. I mean, because he make it, he made it known to like his little cousins, cousins that was like near his age. He he would not remotely get them involved in nothing like that.
And he and he'll tell you family is important. And you want to be around for your family. Again, it's hard losing somebody that I know that's like real cool and chill. I don't bother nobody that. At the end of the day, um, we all got to go sometime, you feel? And like, it's not like I'm like, oh, I could bring you back any day. Like, nah, like, as soon as you go on, like, this going to be like the new, the new. Like, everybody going to go on about their business, doing what they got to do, you feel? I can't just sit around mope all day, hoping to pray you come back and keep crying. Now I'm going to have to get on my feet eventually and, like, continue on with life. Um, my shirt um, is this past um, event. I have an event every year. And I try to do something different for the um, community. And these are some of the gun violent victims. My children. It's like I said, anytime when someone is taken away or life has been interrupted by gun violence. It's like it's my child being taken from me over and over.